is a criminal caring for your loved one. It is a shocking new report by a Health and Human Services Inspector General out. Home health care workers for the elderly and homebound aren't getting vetted properly. That's what the report says. And joining me now with details, Ovik Roy, senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute. Ovik, great to see you. This is deeply concerning because in about 10 states, we're going to show you a map in just a minute, in about 10 states, just about anybody can become a home health care worker. You can be a convict with a rap sheet as long as my arm and get the job. Take a look at this map. Ovik, tell me why people in Alabama, Connecticut, Georgia, on and on, New Jersey, are exposed to this kind of thing. Well, it's clearly an oversight in those states. And you should have certain background checks for people who are going into your home. Because obviously, if someone's coming into your home or the home of a loved one, they have access to your bank statements. They have access to your valuables. There's a lot of reasons to be concerned make sure that those people uh, don't have a criminal record. So you brought up something in your comments to our producer that I thought was really interesting. You say it's very possible that unions are behind this information coming forward, in part because they want to unionize these workers. Have they already in some states? Yeah, so in Illinois, for example, and it's not just in Illinois, there have been several states where the SEIU, one of the big labor unions, has convinced uh, local politicians or state politicians to require that all home health workers are unionized, which means they get the dues that are collected. And that's a real problem because sometimes it's a family member who's caring for a loved one but is getting some uh, state or federal funding to actually help care for that patient. And if that family member is now unionized, that means $750, say, is coming out of that person's paycheck uh, to the union for no obvious reason. Uh, well, it's, you know, it's just such an interesting way this whole thing works. And, of course, uh, you know, our taxpayer dollars are out there, too. Let's face it, Medicare is paying for a ton of this as well. One That's of the big problems, we're told in the IG report, are these agencies, these home health agencies. What kinds of issues are they bringing? So, uh, just to step back on that other thing about Illinois, one sure. thing that's important for your viewers to understand is there's actually a Supreme Court case that's litigating whether these union agreements these that require states to unionize these workers against their will are legal. It's called Harris v. Quinn, and, and we're going to be getting a decision on that uh, in probably in June. On the, on the issue of the, uh, of the agencies, the home health agencies, it's the same thing, right? You want to make sure if, if you're uh, using an agency to care for your loved one that that you know that that agency's employees or their workers are ha, have been subject to back, background checks and that that they're they have the reputation uh, and and the, and the service within the community that that they're not engaging in that kind of activity or their workers aren't engaging in that sort of activity so what needs to happen here because uh, you know unionization isn't a cure right I, I mean how can we make sure that the people who are in our elderly's houses taking care of them aren't criminals or somebody who are going to rip them off or 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 hurt them in any, in any way yeah, so there's a balance. I think having background checks makes sense because you want to make sure that criminals aren't coming into your home and taking advantage of your loved ones. At the same time, you want to be suspicious of any extra licensing requirements that, because all that does is drive up the cost of these services in a way that hurts taxpayers and benefits special interest groups. Yeah, and it can also hurt just regular families if they're picking up the tab. That's for darn sure. Overgroy, thanks for coming on the show. Great to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you.